bathtub really do be the place where you live in right now so I think it's really important for you to make your laptop a friendly, comfortable environment to be in just like how you would decorate your room <laughs> people my name is Rachel Chloe and welcome back to Rach Bottles or welcome if you're new here so today I am going to be showing you guys the MacBook apps that I use that are really useful and helpful for me and I'm also going to be showing you guys how you can customize your MacBook I thought of doing this because um, I think it's been like three weeks or one month since I last uploaded my unboxing my MacBook Air 2020 M1 chip and I just thought I'd do a follow-up video since I've been using this laptop for a while now and I think it will be a really value-packed video so let's just get right into it okay so when you first open the laptop this is what it looks like it's just really simple and minimalistic layout but also a touch of personality with the stitch icons so usually for wallpapers I just go on Pinterest and <laughs> this is my Pinterest okay I literally just type out wallpaper Mac aesthetic there is a bunch but that one time I think I like looked up one of these like mood boards. I think. A few moments later. Never mind, I found it. Okay, I found the link. Ta da! Okay, this is the link. I don't know how I got there, but basically I went to one of these mood boards and I went down in the like more like this and then I found that one. Um, moving on, we have the icons. Look, it's Stitch. I really love Stitch. It's my favorite character, all time favorite character. So how I did that, that's very interesting, right? So the folder icon, since I like Stitch, I typed in um, Stitch icons PNG. This cutie, it's such a cute picture of Stitch. It's what the normal Mac folder thing would look like. And what I did was I just copied the image, the Stitch image. Then I went to the folder and then I clicked the folder and I clicked Command V, which is basically paste, Command V. Ta-da! Look at that! It's Stitch! But I'm going to tell you like just in case your image is not like a PNG transparent like it already is. For example, let's say it's this one, okay? Copy image. We'll have the background and it's like super trashy, right? So if you want to like remove this background, um, just go to removebackground.com, remove.bg, paste the image, command V again. It will literally produce an image without the background. Copy it again, go to folders, get information, and then click this little icon, and then command V again. And ta-da, there is no background, and it's perfect. That's how you change folders, and it's really, really cute, really easy, really simple, and gives such a touch of personality to your laptop. So the next customization, just like the general settings that you get from the Mac. So you go to settings and then you go to um, general and then here you can choose the appearance so you can choose dark but I I used to use dark but it's just like I got bored of it so I started to use light and it's really nice and you can also choose like the color you want for the um, accent colors like these little buttons I just use gray because it's really simple and it kind of goes with the shadow and the leaves It's just really nice and calming and highlight colors. I chose other like I use this like minty like teal Greenish color because I really like it. What this actually is is literally just you know Like if you for example, I type hi, this is the highlight. It's green. It's like literally green so that's what that is. Okay, so this is an additional section to the video. <coughs> Bless you. Bless me. <laughs> Something I really want to show you is my Google Chrome. How I customize my Google Chrome. I'll show you this little tab here. It's really, really helpful. It's really, I'm pretty sure all of you know it, but for those of you who don't, I love this thing. 
This is my shit. I use UCL Moodle a lot. This is my campus, okay? My campus on screen is UCL Moodle. So I need this open conveniently at all times. And then there's also Google Calendar. Okay, so I have a uni folder and I have like all the websites that are useful for me for university and I just keep it here. It's really convenient, although I never really open it. But yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys how I do it. For example, I on Outlook. I want to like bookmark Outlook, so what I do is go to the bookmarks tab on the top, bookmark this tab, and I put it on my bookmarks bar, and done, and ta-da, you can just open this and it will directly lead you to your Outlook email. So that's kind of it for the customization of my MacBook, I really don't do much, but I have a lot of apps to show you that really enhance my like usage of my MacBook. First of all, I really want to show you stickies. You can just search it up on your spotlight, go to stickies. So I have a sticky here, you can change the color, like for example, if you want a traditional post-it, yellow. But I use gray because it just matches with the whole thing. And I can compare myself to a microwavable popcorn, like ideas just keep jumping off and bouncing off my head, but I really just forget them and like end up not doing anything about those ideas. So whenever I need to type something really quickly, I just go to stickies and I type down, for example, I have a video, I mean, I have an idea about making a pizza video. So I just literally type down pizza video. And you can also change the font size by clicking command plus so or command minus if you want a smaller one you can also resize the sticky notes which is really amazing um i really want to introduce this as a follow-up to like stickies but i use notion for the same reason i don't know why i can't um bring myself to use notion heavily on a daily basis i just use it for really just to organize my random thoughts that appear in my head. Stickies is like a rough draft and I then move it on to Notion to really solidify the idea and act on them. The Notion app by just clicking Notion, download, Mac, and then um, and create account. See? So yeah, this is the default. I haven't really changed anything I have like made is inspired by a lot of like Lee, how she organized her notion was just really eye-opening so um i have life lessons <laughs> so whenever i used to like journal everything when i'm feeling really down and under and really shit and that really solidifies the um life lessons i learned from hardships and from difficult times so i just put it here in notion now because i have this I'm not showing you guys the middle finger, but um, okay, got it. So it's like this, like it's like there is a bump here. Session like my pen like this, and I just like can't stop doing it. I don't know why. So that's why I get this thing, and I don't want to make it like bigger. So I just move everything to Notion now. So this bucket list is basically my vision board, literally for 2021. So. I got this like format from Ali Abdal, like link the video down below, also for Lana Blakely's notion. Um, so he basically has a bucket list, like what he wants to achieve this year and a smart goal, like how, how, what to do, like what are the goals you need to meet in order to reach that goal. And then you also have habits, like what are the everyday things you can do to kind of um, get to where it's your end goal, how surprised of failure you are i think it's really important to have this because you want to prepare yourself for the worst thing to happen and you don't want to feel so shit i think having a large expectation without taking into realistic things in your life will really set you up for disappointment in the future like it's good to have high hopes and high expectations but you also need to take account of the realistic aspects and of the failures that might occur and i also had to write the top three reasons for failure and who can help so it's just like setting preparing yourself for failure literally and then i have one at a time for example i'm filming my mad apps videos so it's in the process kind of gives me a motivation to keep going and then when i'm done i go like you did it and then i move it here so yeah i'm still in the process though youtube I just 
randomly have different ideas so i have a lot of ideas and i'm doing right now this mac apps extensions and customizations and i already uploaded these this lets me put my ideas somewhere let me organize my ideas and also lets me act on those ideas and motivates me to pursue those ideas and make it real okay guys from my first year of university for the first term i still like wrote down everything with pen and paper just because i'm a traditional girl that likes to hold a pen and a pencil and a paper but I start to think about how inconvenient it is and what if I lose them and I have to move to London soon so I'm just like nah so starting from term 2, I start using Evernote I they have a lot of formats for you to plan so like for example if you type a new note there is literally a template you can choose from like getting things done, management resources, the project goals you can literally there's even party planning, especially for school. You have a calendar, you have a weekly planner, you have a, you have so many things. You even have like um, Cornell notes. It's like a note taking um, format, which is really effective, I heard, but I don't use it because haha. <laughs> so yeah, it's really, really good. I love it. Um, so basically I have different notebooks for my different models, modules. And what I really love about this is I use my account like an email. For example, like I hope this doesn't happen, but if my Mac memory like like it's just gone, it's like woof, it's like whoosh, it's like gone. I won't lose my notes because I can just log in again to Evernote and with my email and all my notes will still be there. So it's permanently there forever, which is amazing. The only downside to using Evernote is the free version has limited words. Um, so far, I wrote a lot, as you can see, and I have a lot of notebooks, and it still hasn't run out. But I'm just scared for that day it will run out, and I have to subscribe and pay. <laughs> Cheap. The next application that I want to show you is specifically for YouTube YouTubers, small YouTubers, aspiring YouTubers like me and just really want a good video editing app that's free except for iMovie i found a really good one it's called vn i love it like i've i tried a lot of things and this is so simple it's similar to iMovie but it has so much more features and the text options there are many things so you can use this 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 and then you can put it anywhere you want to. I love it. You can even pick a color. You can even choose your own color. I just love it. It's amazing. This is like probably my fav favorite, favorite feature here. These are just like the basic. I have WhatsApp web. WhatsApp web on my Mac. I just knew that was possible. And you can also um, do video calls. WhatsApp video calls on your laptop now. If you guys don't know that, you should check it out because with uni and stuff it's just what's about is so much more convenient if you have like zoom meetings just click on the link and you can even video call from here it's amazing so that's all that is on my macbook thank you so much for watching guys um don't forget to click the like button subscribe and also comment anything you want like any questions if you want and any like video recommendations what you would like to see i would love to see them down below i'm talking like i'm an actual youtuber with such a huge following but i really am not i'm just starting out and wish me luck <laughs> bye bye guys see you in the next video